Hey guys, what's up? Philip Sarah Bikes here, and I'm gonna talk about this build. This is a giant Anthem 27 and a half year 2018. Uh, the customer previously had another giant Anthem, but he had an accident and the frame collapsed right here. So the headset broke. So he bought a new model, which is the 2018, and wanted us to pass the motor that was on his previous bike to his bike, to this new bike. So we installed it in a different way than the, the previous person who he bought the conversion. Uh, installed it and I'm pretty happy with the results I would like to show you more of this build um, so because this is a small uh, sorry this is a medium frame and uh, the other bike used a large frame this 52 volt 17 amp hour battery would not fit on the down tube uh, I gave him the option of installing the battery here on the upper tube he said he, do he doesn't want that so, uh, uh, a way of having this build completed was to get the, the 52 volt, 17.5 amp hour battery. We turned it upside down. We cover all the holes of the battery, like the key barrel, the, the screw holes, you know, even the, the output part of the battery. We filled it up with... Uh, liquid electrical tape and then we gone with the cyberbikes cover on top of the battery so the battery is actually upside down with our cover on top so it matches perfectly the triangle here with the triangle of the battery we open a little hole for the the charging port and this hole we applied some uh, uh, super glue hard glue so it, it feels like a lid, you know, uh, even though it's, it's fabric, but it feels like a lid. This part here is a little bit more solid. And then we strap it, it because actually the bike had already straps. The customer lost the keys of this battery. So he, he was already using like a strap to hold it to the bike. So we just use the same straps. Uh, also uh, here uh, at the bottom, uh, let's see if I can move the bike a little bit just to show it. Is that uh, we installed this motor in a kind of different way than the, the previous owner who he bought the bike from installed it. Uh, we are going with three instead of using normal spacers, you know, or we are going with three Bafang brackets in a sandwich, boom, boom, boom. And the teeth of the brackets match each, each other's back. So the teeth of this first bracket matches the groove of the previous one, which matches the groove of the, the very first one, which is in contact with the bottom bracket. That one, that very, very first bracket, we had to remove the ears, you know, the excess, uh, uh, arms of that bracket to allow the suspension to travel and don't touch the bracket which is the very first one then the second one is the one that you see here we left it in case we have to install a torque arm here or there we have enough room to clamp the torque arm and uh, attach it to other parts of the frame and the, the third uh, bracket is the one that's holding the motor now uh, uh, one very peculiar thing that you have to know for this bike here you have to use a, a press fit adapter uh, so they, uh, this I think press fit 41 so you have to have the adapter and the adapter basically is uh, a cylinder that goes inside of the bottom bracket so it makes the hole of the frame a little bit smaller and it fits perfectly the Bafang motor on the side that receives the clamp, that same uh, piece of uh, adapter that diminishes the, the bottom bracket hole to 
eliminate any gaps with the Bafeng motor. On this side here, it has a lip, you know, like some uh, uh, extra material to uh, shape on the external format of the bottom bracket. So when you put the, the bracket, it can bite that lip and then hold everything tight. Uh, another very peculiar thing is that if you go with a Bafang which is 68 to 73 millimeters length, axle length, uh, it won't be enough for this bike. You have to go with at least 100 millimeters or 120. We used here the Bafang 100 millimeters and worked just fine. Uh, and uh, uh, if you have the 68, 72, you have to extend the length. You have to buy the kit online to extend the length, which is a, is a very complicated job. Uh, but it's possible to do. I've done that previously in a BBS 01 350, which we installed uh, on a, a press fit 41. And uh, at that time, we had to extend to 120 millimeters length. Uh, but yeah, it's a very peculiar build, but the results are great because this bike's very solid. The construction of the suspension is, is very nice. Uh, the, the uh, shocks, they are all rock shocks, which are, are uh, uh, let's say, above than what we call entry level. And yeah, it's a basic build, no mud guards, no lights, no upgraded brakes, uh, but it's decent enough to ride comfortably and safe uh, uh, anywhere you wanna go. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time.